Hello. My name is Adam Bean, and today I would like to deploy the Web Components template, Boundary Control Entity template, which is a plain vanilla Web Component application directly to S3. Why? I got a couple of questions. What should we do with static assets like HTML5, CSS, JavaScript, and images? And one possibility is just to copy them over to um, S3. And um, so what we, what, what we need is a bucket, and we will create the bucket with Java, and um, it is going to be fairly easy. So what I would like to do is the official AWS Cloud Development Kit CDK, and um, I would like to use my own like starter kit or template. It's just a slightly modified, I deleted some stuff, uh, version of the templates which is uh, created by the CDK with the CDK init command. So, okay, let's start. So I would like to start with the project with creating the CDK AWS project, which basically copies the um, template over. And what I would like to do is, or how to name it, uh, uh, web components on S3. So a beautiful name. And uh, so this is the project and we need the terminal. And so this is web components on S3. And then where's the terminal here? What I need is I need now the boundary control entity project. And I have another shell script which just copies over the uh, template and I would call it just website, website. So now, and the website is started. So um, the only thing is, um, interesting thing is that the um, website is the project and the sources are served from the SRC, from source folder. So I, I will have to, uh, if I copy something to S3, it has to be the source folder. Okay, so this already looks good. So let's try this. So now we have the, um, the um, CDK project and this, comprises CDK app with some basic tags and uh, some information about the um, account and region. So this is, um, the information is pulled um, from environment entry called CDK and uh, the CDK stack is empty. And this is where I would like to implement or to create the bucket. And the bucket can be created with bucket um, builder bucket bucket not bucket bucket rather than bucket builder and then create this we need always this scope from the stack and then the id is fine and i would like just to add the uh, bucket so and then what we need is the bucket name so bucket name has to be unique so let's try uh w3 on S, uh, w3 <laughs> wc on s3 oh this is a beautiful name uh with air hacks with air hacks so this or on air hacks so this and then we need um public read access true this is important what we can also specify is the um website index document and this is going to be index html and then we already can build that build. So, and uh, it's not over. What, what we need is I have to remember the bucket because what, um, what I also need is the URL. And this is the bucket. And I would like to output the URL using uh, the cloud formation output, CFN output. And this is builder, then create this then uh, bucket and uh, or ID plus bucket has to be unique plus uh, not true not bucket uh, I need the website or just the URL U URL okay and the value of that is going to be bucket and get website URL this is what we need for today Okay, so we have it. So um, now this bucket would be created and the bucket would be empty. So, but we need a bucket full of web components. So how to do that? We need a bucket deployment, bucket deployment, um, build and create. Then this is the scope and we need the ID, ID plus 
deployment. And um, what uh, we need is are the sources. So we have to deploy the sources. And this is a list of, um, of um, path or, uh, or file entries. So path entries, which can be files or directories. In our, in our case, we need uh, the source or list of, I told you, this is a list of sources and source uh, from from S3 and the asset the path is now website and very important SRC so this is the path and then destination bucket is our bucket and we only have to build that okay and then we can create the bucket and deploy the bucket and it should work. So um, this can take a little bit. So just clean. Uh, we don't have to clean it, but and um, say CDK deploy. This is the command. And let's create this. Oh, uh, the tests are running. And what the test just asserts is that the template is not empty. So this is the generated cloud formation template must not be empty and I would like to generate everything and this can take a while so okay we got the URI the URI is generated so let's see whether it is working so uh, what I need is just a browser so just I will just pick the browser and try the URI and it seems to work so we are now on S3 the page is not secure because we don't have certificates installed, but it works well. So thank you for watching. See you at upcoming um, workshops, um, AirHacks Live, even projects or conferences. Bye.